Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, great book on creation versus evolution. Now, I say it's a great book. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but it is a journey from an evolutionist to a creationist and one of the preeminent scientists um, of our time. And this happens fairly regularly. I've done some other reviews of, of books that have done similar things. So Dr. Job Martin, a native of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, was a biology major at Bucknell University, a 1966 graduate of the University of Pittsburgh Dental School. After spending two years in the Air Force, he established private dental, uh, dental practice at NASA in Houston, then joined the faculty of Baylor College of Dentistry in Dallas in 71. So in 82, he entered Dallas Theological Seminary, graduating in 86 with a master's degree in systematic theology. And as president of Biblical Discipleship Ministries, Job is a frequent speaker on topics such as creation versus evolution, marriage and family, discipleship, biblical prophecy, and the New Age movement. So just read the other thing here too. The Dr. Job Martin chronicles his personal journey from traditional scientist to creationist. Dr. Martin himself was a traditional evolutionist, but his medical and scientific training would go through an evolution, rather a revolution when he began to study animals that challenged the scientific exceptions of his education. This is the beginning of the evolution of a creationist. And so, you know, here you have somebody that is a dentist at NASA, that is a professor at Baylor University, and he's just like, the evidence just shows that this is uh, the way it is. It says to Dr. Phi, so I don't know who Dr. Phi is, I want to say that I've actually heard that. Uh, the, a layman's guide to the conflict between the Bible and evolutionary uh, theory. Notice, the goal of this book is to provide the reader with easily accessible information on the creation versus evolution controversy. Any part of this book may be reproduced for personal or classroom use as long as it's not sold for profit. Please note that there are quotations in this book from copyrighted materials which may reserve all of their legal rights. So this book is dedicated to my creator and savior, Jesus Christ. To God alone be the glory. There you go. So let's look at the table of contents here. I picked this up at Goodwill. And I'd heard of Job Martin, but, you know, I didn't have anything from him. So I forget, maybe I paid 79 cents for this. It's a paperback. You know, at Goodwill, they always charge less for the paperbacks. So, uh... It's going to have some good stuff in there. You know, when you think about it, it's just so obvious. If you really take a deep dive inside, no, I haven't smoked marijuana for 35 years. I'm talking about taking a deep dive inside. When you think about all your blood flowing and your gastrointestinal system, your eyes, your brain thinking, um, your nerves, your skeletal system, your nervous system, the how your feet have to be perfectly designed. There's no way evolution could have happened. It could not have happened. So you're like, so how many, how could so many millions of scientists be deceived? I mean, sorry. I mean, when you think about what goes on in a college classroom, which I've been a college teacher for many, many years now, that basically you give them something to read and then you as a professor you present information and it's just on a topic and their goal is somewhat to learn but it's mainly to pass your class and it's in the context of three or four or five other classes that they're taking simultaneously and so their brain is basically like mush and you can present things to them that don't allow for critical ex thinking and critical examination. And so, and that's one of the things that we always want to do in Bible college is teaching people how to think. I have people hate my classes because I want them to think. They're like, look, I'm just wanting an A. I don't care what you tell me. You know, and that's probably the overwhelming majority of college students that I teach. And, uh, and so, to, to say that it's just this scientific consensus and that it must be true, that's not true at all. It's a theory. They call it theory of evolution. No matter how many pe times people call it a fact, because if you study it, 
it's it's so full of holes i mean if it was a truth i want to believe the truth okay so he goes into earth's pre-flood water company and the dinosaur mystery dementations producing new life forms the answer to that is no earth young or old give me facts not assumptions description and excuse me deception in textbooks which uh, wells goes into so well in that orangutans monkeys and man missing links are missing has god been toppled and then came assumptions uh on and on and so forth somewhere around 300 pages um he goes into this he said the king james version of the bible is quoted throughout because of its universal acceptance um uh, so that's good. And I know Henry Morris is a big King James guy as well. So The Evolution of a Creationist by uh, Job. Think you might like it. So God bless and prayerfully consider theistic evolution, all of this. It could not have happened. Progressive, older, had to be young earth creationism. That's the only way that everything could happen. Male, female, air, breathing, plants, everything together. Symbiosis had to be. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.